There's a thriller in Missouri brewing, a battle royale, so to speak. In the blue corner, a freshman congresswoman from Missouri, a former Ferguson, Missouri activist squad member, Cory Bush. In the red corner, a seasoned lawyer who gained fame when he was part of the shot heard round the world, that shot being this camera shot where he and his wife defended themselves and their home from the violent mob who had just terrorized his St. Louis suburb. Mark McCluskey. Ironically or not, Cory Bush was one of those violent protesters who broke into the McCluskey property. And now she's a U.S. Congresswoman. Here she is just this week celebrating with her fellow squad person, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Remember, the squad camped out on the Capitol Hill steps demanding President Biden extend the eviction moratorium. They got their progressive wish and therefore the victory dance. Celebrating pushing America closer to their socialist utopia inspired the dance. Representative Bush has been a vocal defund the police activist, but Ms. Bush is a total hypocrite. Turns out Representative Bush just dropped a cool 70 grand on private security in the last couple of months. Campaign records show that you spent roughly $70,000 on, on private security, and some critics say um, that move is hypocritical. Um, what's your response to those critics? They would rather I die? <laughs> you would rather me die? Is that what you want to see? You want to see me die? What? What's that? What? That's $70,000, folks, for private security. That's a ton of money, and just for a few months. Must be nice. Maybe she's got a good reason for dropping all that taxpayer dough, your money, on her private security detail. I have private security because Ooh. my body is worth being on this planet right now. Oh, I get it. Your body is important to you. Guess what? The rest of us think the same thing. Our bodies are important to us, too. By the way, I did the math. If everyone in America got your private security detail, Ms. Bush, it would cost $23 trillion per year. But doesn't Cory Bush think 70 k is a lot of money? So if I end up spending 200000 if I spend 10, 10, 10 more dollars on it, you know what? I get to be here to do the work. So suck it up, and defunding the police has to happen. Exactly. 200 k for you, defund the police for the rest of us. Got it. Rules for thee, not for me. Representative Bush is not only a hypocrite, Cory Bush is a blatant liar. Ms. Bush is an outspoken opponent of law enforcement, going so far as to claim she's had death threats from police officers. In this CBS online interview, she said she was receiving death threats from cops. Now listen to her answer when she was asked about those alleged threats. As a member of Congress, you've had uh, police officers threaten your life. I mean, it, and they're, they're still people. That wasn't a very convincing response to a very salacious accusation. Maybe she needed a second chance to answer the question. Thankfully, the host did what most mainstream media people refuse to do when it's the Democrats making wild accusations. He actually followed up. But presumably, Congresswoman, I would hope that those, uh, uh, as you allege, those police officers would be removed, or at least you would let your security detail and uh, the mechanisms in place in Congress to ensure that those officers are not still patrolling the streets. Well, you know, it's work is being done. Nope, Cory Bush failed again. I'd be willing to bet there have been zero credible threats on Cori Bush coming from any law enforcement officers. But back to the thriller in Missouri, Mark McCloskey and Cori Bush are in a heated war of words over policing in America. McCloskey is running for Senate in Missouri with a pro-police agenda and Cori Bush is not too happy about that. Mark McCloskey is an absolute liar. He has spat on my name and, and because of that, his day, his day will come. All right, well, Mark McCloskey is standing by to weigh in. We contacted Cori Bush's office by telephone and email to offer her a spot on this show, too. We got no response. Shocker. Our next guest gained national attention after he was seen standing on his own lawn, protecting his own home from protesters passing through their own neighborhood. Now he's on a mission to become the next Republican senator of Missouri. 
Let's bring in Mark McCloskey. Mark, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you know, you hear Cori Bush, and she's been all over the place, and she's really taken some shots at you. I don't know, some, some of let, let me ask, how, what did you hear with what she had said on CNN and CBS last night and this morning? Well, I guess my days are numbered. I've got it coming. You know, uh, I think she's just a little grumpy from sleeping on those stairs myself. Well, I'm not sure about that, but she made some serious accusations against police officers, said she had credible death threats from police officers when, when pressed about it. She couldn't come up with anything. She danced around a lot. Um, what is this about? Is this about two different sides on, on the defund or defend the police situation? Well, you know, she, she's a remarkable liar. I hate to use the term that she used on me, but she stood right outside my gate on the second assault on the house with a megaphone chanting, you can't stop the revolution. You can't stop the revolution. She broke down the gate. Well, no, she didn't personally, but her, her group did. Stormed into my house, threatened me with death, threatened my wife with rape, threatened to burn down the house, burn down my office building, even kill our dog. Then she has a gall to stand up in the halls of Congress and say, no one who supports insurrection should be allowed to walk the halls of Congress with reference to our Senator Josh Hawley. And yet she's the only one in that building that I know of who has, to my face and to my ears, advocated the violent overthrow of this country. And when you say that, you're talking about the no one will stop the revolution. You, you, you take that as being a threat to the country? Yeah, you, well, it's not, just, it's not just that one statement in front of our house. She produced a, a, a video of this riot from the get-go, and she was chanting that and a lot of other, a lot of other pure Marxist BS uh, before they ever hit our house. And then, of course, they came back the second time on uh, July the 3rd, specifically to kill us and burn down the house. And on that occasion, we had the help of six ex-Navy SEALs, 10 secondary employment police officers. We had the FBI light aircraft circling the house. We had the, a thousand people from her organization and their supporters storm the house that night. And, uh, you know, it was, it was not a peaceful protest. And in fact, her cohort, uh, Rashid Aldridge, who's in the Missouri House now, went on television that day and said they have no desire to have a peaceful protest. They have to break the law. They know they're breaking the law, and they break the law to make their point happen. And yet, then she's got the gall, like I say, to stand up and say what she did the last couple of days. But, uh, Mark, you know, Mark, do you, how do you know, do you know for sure that was Cori Bush that was part of the, the, the group breaking into your property? Well, she's got a good chanting voice. I mean, she uh, she likes to protest. She likes to talk into the megaphone, and she's got a very distinctive voice when she's uh, when she's doing her her protest. But she admitted it herself. I mean, there are people still sitting in solitary cells, dozens of them in D.C. for doing no more than trespass. And yet, out of the three to five hundred people that broke down my gate and stormed my house last June 28th, not a single one of them has done a single day in jail for the same crime or lack thereof in Cory Bush's mind. She doesn't believe in private property, but for the same crime as people that are doing solitary confinement in D.C. for now six months. Laws, that's, law, that's, laws, for, just... laws for thee, not for me. I got about half a minute or so, Mark. I think some of this, this uh, recent round, we called it the thrill in Missouri, comes from the, the governor of Missouri pardoning you, and that really fired her up. What do you want to say to Corey, Representative Cory Bush on her recent spat, the re, round three, let's call it round three of the thrill in Missouri? Well, all we did was protect ourselves against an angry mob. We exercised our Second Amendment rights. And, uh, you know, they were not exercising their First Amendment rights because when they broke down that gate and entered our private property, that ended the peacefulness of their protest. And when they started shouting death threats and arson and rape, that certainly wasn't a peaceful protest. And, you know, we're not going to back down. The city of St. Louis is the most dangerous city in the country. And, you know, what last thing we need to do is have fewer police and more criminals on the ground. But that's exactly what Cory Bush wants, backed up by our the circuit attorney, Kim Gardner, the source-funded circuit attorney, and our new mayor, Tashara Jones. Together, they want to turn St. Louis into a criminal paradise, and they're doing it right now. All right, we're going to leave it right there. Mark McCloskey, thank you for your time. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thank Again, you. And by the way, yep. I just want to let your, your, your uh, uh, viewers know that I'm in a car on the way down to a political event and that's why you've got the unusual backdrop here. Oh, it's all good. At least we could hear you and we could see you. By the way, we did reach out to Cori Bush's office and, and offer her an opportunity to come on and, and state her case as well. And she never got back to us, I guess. Thank you, Mark. Thank you.
Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.